Hello everyone and welcome to Clash of the Underdogs. This is a special recorded round organised by myself and Josh C2 in which we have scoured the Reddit community far and wide searching for those who perfectly fit the term underdogs. We have found those who are excel at commentary, editing, intros, art, everything but PvP. Those who you would be surprised to see get a kill. Those who you think could do okay at best. Those who for winning seems like a foreign concept. Therefore, we are all here in a vanilla FFA to see who will come out on top. Prepare for self-deprecating commentary, many missed MLGs, and below average PvP and clash of the underdogs. Now we're just going to go through the roster. We have 3D Spiders, Darkblade, Fancy, Flues, Frost, Kirby, Lego, LJ, Longer, Nye, Mop, Creeper, Pimp, Plushy, Sid, Sluggy, Slushy, I said slushy twice. Never mind. Summer, Talon, Imped, myself, Frankie, Newman, that is, Blah, Dango, and Kalina. What a beautiful bunch of people. <laughs> Yeet. Uh, gonna go through config quickly as well. Um, Never is on. Strength and tier 2 are off. Meet up at episode 7. Map is 1000 by 1000 radius. Heads are on and heal free. Absorption is off. Enderpearls do one heart. Um, a general agreement not to use rods for PvP and not to skybase or to stalk too early on. And yeah, that's basically it. Uh, you can unmute if you want, just shout woo or something, I don't know. Woo! Do whatever. Let's <laughs> all go. Like the Minecraft guy. <laughs> <laughs> Alan, you always have a death wish. What? Oh, yeah. oh wait, 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 wait. <laughs> no, um, too late, I stopped recording. Sorry for hosting. Okay. Whoops. <laughs> wait, what? Uh, thanks Whoa. to Chorizo for hosting. Thanks. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah. Okay. So, can we do the okay. boot now? Yeah. If yeah, we want to do the boot. Whoa! Oh, the right hand. And you Okay, the game has just started, and I just came back uh, from the washroom, because I always do my pre-game Wii. Be oh, that's a creeper. Before the game. That way, you know, I'm uh, less likely to take a break during the game. This is like the weirdest topic of conversation that I ever started a recorded round with. I guess just because of how, how like, quickly the game actually began after the intro. Uh, because we did start late, we were waiting for someone who refused uh, with uh, a lot of uh, stubbornness to show up. But this is an FFA called Clash of Underdogs. You'll be unsurprised for my longtime subscribers to uh, see me participate as an underdog. And some of you will be like, what? Fluesmaker is an underdog? And yes, it depends on what the playing field is among uh, certain groups. I am quite the underdog indeed. I think like the biggest underdog I've ever been was probably in in the little rabbit here, because uh, I I saw a creeper, so you know I, I knew that uh, there was a chance, you know, of creepers. That little creeper there, man. Uh, I mean that little rabbit. They make the little the little sounds of of human little feet or creeper feet. Very, uh, very scary. Very scary. But this is a good place to get my starter tools. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, the, like, the biggest underdog I've ever been, I think, was in the group of Block Chaos. Even though I did win a season of Block Chaos, Block Chaos 9. 
you can go back and watch it. Probably you'll you'll need uh, to search like on YouTube Block Chaos Season Nine because going back that far in my archive of videos is uh, <laughs> it's probably a, a bit of a test. And that little rabbit uh, just just keeps putting me on edge, man. All right, so maybe this ravine can help me uh, get some uh, starter iron real quick. Maybe I can do that. And that that spider has strength, so I'm not a big fan. Not a big fan. Not a big fan. So uh, it's an FFA. We can't use texture packs, or at least uh, you know, no uh, no light maps, no highlighted ores. So I, when that's the case, I just use the default Minecraft textures. No, uh, nothing fancy. Because you know, why bother? Uh, so I'm gonna. Unless I spot some really easy iron to get. Yeah, there's some really easy iron to get. I'm gonna grab it. Uh, what else? Uh, the nether is on. So it's always an option. I might go. Who knows? Uh, what? Snowballs? Oh. I think they're asking about various uh, things, because, uh... We've been kindly asked to not use uh, fishing rods because in in 1.8 you can fishing rod you can use fishing rods to do the really sweaty pvp and you can do the same with the uh, snowballs it is true but i can't spend too much time in this ravine just because i really i just don't have food so got to make sure I just grab easy iron, and that's pretty much it. Then go back out and uh, kill some mobs, smelt everything while getting some apples, and we'll have a, a good start. Yeah, okay. That's uh, gonna be. Yeah, I think it's gonna be easier to exit this way. There go. Mamma mia. Okay. What else? We're, we're in a 1000 by 1000 map. And uh, don't expect me to win, even though I am with fellow underdogs and I'm, I'm not the worst player in the field. Not the best one. There's some players that I'm kind of a little bit surprised maybe to see as underdogs. I mean, I guess they would be underdogs in like myself. You know, it depends on who you, you place us with, right? <laughs> So there's some people with whom I'm going to be an underdog, and others, not really. It always depends on, on who you place me with. Uh, I'm going to need to find some reeds, maybe a swamp, something of that nature, you know. I'm going to look around for some biomes, but I might have to stop and cook before then. Because I don't like to run around uh, without... Uh, so I guess I can actually uh, grab me some mushrooms. Eee. Don't like that skelly over there? He's trying to be a bully. And I'm like, no, man. Aha. I'm liking this, though. And I'm lagging a bit. Hope uh, it's nothing too serious. So it's a 1.8 game, and I'm a little bit deformed for uh, playing too many 1.12 games. Alright, let's see if I can... If I can lure this guy in my trap. Okay, got one string. I successfully lured him into my trap. And all I need is reeds and a place to cut some trees down, and we'll be good good to uh, smelt allow me to remove that from my bar because it's useless it's always better to try oh some reeds here only two though there's more reeds way over there i'm gonna grab i'm gonna grab i need who's maker needs who's maker grabs he's gonna grab very slowly though because i'm out of food oh no it's so far away so so unbelievably far away. Now 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 you know you're an underdog when a difficult quest, a challenging quest is actually walking out over all over 
this 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 lake all around the lake to go get a couple reeds oh they're so far away i thought they'd be close by now but no they're still far away but that's gonna be four reeds so i'm gonna be able to have two books in total that's muy bien Need me some uh, food to go on the go, though. Because, uh, is there, like, a couple pigs? I okay, fine. I'm just gonna... Because I, I need I need to run around. I can't... I can't... Oh, well done. Well done, Impard. Apparently someone else was around here. Oh, yeah. Frank, it's Frankie. Frankie. What you doing, Frankie? Fine. <laughs> he won't let me cook. Got some uh, reeds over there I want to grab. There go, that's the third book. I hope this lag won't uh, stick around, though. Because I, I don't think I'm supposed to lag on this server. And uh, my internet woes that you may have seen, uh, I don't know I don't know how long, in how long this uh, will air. But there was a period, there were at least three or four UHCs that were really affected by, like, the bad internet I had at home. That I was, uh, we were supposed to have some top-notch, super-duper, best internet available in the uh, province. And what we had was some terrible, terrible stuff. Oh no, I went in the wrong direction quite clearly. Did not want to end up in the, this biome. What I want is like swamps and stuff. No. No. But it's important uh, to explore and uh, look around. Because you never know what uh, wonders you might find. Aside from Frankie. Alright, so we got some uh, regular oak trees right over there. And that's going to have to do for uh, the first batch of apples. It's going to have to do, man. I probably shouldn't uh, run on top of uh, the canopy while uh, I don't have a water bucket. Because there could be some uh, very awkward moments like this. I was supposed to fall here, and I went there. That was terrible. I jinxed myself. I should have been Iron Man, and now this is where we are. Uh, mm, mm, okay. Let's get ready to cut some trees. My advice is always to uh, multitask. Smelt where you're going to stay in the same area. So smelt when you're cutting trees, smelt while you're mining obsidian, you know, smelt when you're doing a task. That's going to take a while. Of course, now night is falling. I've been, uh, I've explored a little too much and didn't, uh, didn't start caving quickly enough. That's my bad. I might, uh, I might need to uh, defend myself against some, uh, some mobs here at night. It could happen. Not just that bunny over there. Actual evil mobs. So, I'm gonna switch to the iron sword right away. I don't need this anymore. And, uh, I'm gonna grab some food. I'm assuming that the apple rates are actually technically vanilla, so I guess there won't be a lot of apples falling very quickly. And uh, every leaf block that is connected to a log will not fall. So, in order to uh, speed things up, 
I might do a little bit of this. I might ask if shears work, because I could, like, just shear some... Some, some, some leaves. Shear some leaves. Though, you know, you do need a decent amount of logs for the torches, because we can't use light maps in this, uh, UHC. What means? What does it mean? Go ahead. Go ahead. I, I, don't, I don't even remember what the theoretical question I was asking was. Uh, but it means, um, essentially, that we're going to have to do a lot of torches, so we need, we need food for sticks. Uh, huh? I have uh, something to make uh, splash potions. Okay. I was going to make a chest plate, and then uh, I'll make a head bucket instead. And there you go. Let's go find a cave. We only got one apple out of all this. Maybe actually I'm gonna use my sword and try to get a second one real quick. Whoa, that's a skelly. No on him shooting my face. Might have to uh settle for one yeah that's two skeletons is there any way i can lure the spider away though i would like that hey spider spider that's right that's right baby yes i think i got all the string i need right there yeah, for string. Okay, so what I'm gonna do? Ugh. Okay, apparently the mobs are spawning now suddenly, and it's time to find a cave. And I'm okay with caving a little bit in the uh, taiga. Usually, people don't really explore the taiga; they don't really bother with that because it's not an apple-giving biome. They're not gonna be sticking around most of the time. So, if you want to cave in peace, it can be. A decent area to start it can be but uh, what I try to do is I try to look for the surface caves hey you never know what you might you know you never know what you're gonna get more reads over there I can grab that and I always have more books I don't mind Having more books. Is that a cave? Yes, that's a cave. I'm going to come back. I'm going to get the reeds. Come back. Oh, I'm a little too close to the border. That's worth keeping in mind. Still, I can always grab a little bit of iron and relocate. Because we've been kindly asked to not, like, try and PvP on Episode 2. Like, we, uh, we have more than a gentleman's agreement. We have a coward's agreement. Which is even better. Uh. Well, well, well. If it isn't too late. Uh, Duris, I think, could have played, but decided to be late. Okay, this is... This is not... This is not how it's supposed to be. I, I have to remember that, uh... I have to make torches. I'm gonna need to find coal as well. Not just, not just iron, but also coal. Can you believe that? So, I like how, the, where this that is going. Right down there, I like that. Oh. I hear the lava? That's not bad. <gasps> Whoa, okay. I did not expect the lava to appear right there. That was a little startling.
let's let's start torching things up a little bit. I need to go down as fast as I can. But let's start placing a couple torches, right? Just keep going down, keep going down. Always go down. Until you get to gold territory. Even though I think I only have one apple, right? Only one apple. There are trees on the surface, though. I'm going to need to do a lot of exploring on the surface because I don't... I, what, I got only four feathers? That's really not enough. I'm lacking so many resources, man. This is, uh, I'm starting this out as, an, as a true underdog. As a true underdog who only slept four hours or something and is like <laughs> a walking zombie. It is expected to deliver some quality commentary at this point. We had, uh, first movie night with the, the patrons last night, which was a lot of fun. Watched the uh, Team America World Police with uh, some people who had never seen it before so there was some hilarity ensued I don't want to go up to Y30 though I need to go farther down baby farther down is where I need to go stop going upwards though from here I can staircase down so maybe it's not all loss, right? I was too slow to uh, provide any mind games at all. And I'm just hoping, against all hope, that there's going to be some caves beneath these caves. There's, there's often caves beneath caves. So that's what I'm hoping for. But clearly, I'm starting to get to a level now that is... Okay, experience ball. I think that was... Uh, I think that was some uh, severe lag right there but that was the end of the episode we'll see you in episode two sponsored by the flu screw on patreon